Solar Fast might be my favorite Jacquard product. It's really fun, light reactive dye that only develops when exposed to UV. It can be used on fabric or paper to make detailed photographs, photograms, or shadow prints. Usually I use it on fabric, but today I'm going to be using it on paper. I'm going to be using sponge brushes and little plastic containers to hold my solar fast and paper. We want a thick and hardy paper which can withstand a soak. Ideally, printmaking papers, which are 100% cotton, work the best. You can print negatives of your own using any image, a desktop printer, Jacquard Solar Fest film, and their website. Center your negative over your paper, trace around it lightly with a pencil, and then carefully fill it in with Jacquard Solar Fest. The image I'm using is MC Escher's self portrait, but I've replaced his office with the Astrodome. You want to work quickly and expose your print while the solar fast is still damp. So lay your negative down, put some heavy glass on top, and then place it in the sun. Exposure times may vary slightly, but it's generally about 10 minutes. A timer will help you keep track. A minute or two before your print is complete, prepare a very hot bath with hot water and a capful of solar fast wash. Bring your print inside, remove the negative, and place it into your stop bath. You're going to agitate here for about 10 minutes to make sure that the development process has come to an end. And then you'll take it outside and hang it up to dry. Next, I'm going to be a little bit more ambitious and use two colors to print with. I'm going to start by making a transfer using tracing paper and a negative. Uh, you don't need a light board for this, but it certainly does help. When printing, you want the smooth side of your negative down and the sticky side up. When making your transfer, you want the opposite. Next, go back over your marks with a little more pressure so that they're a bit darker. Center your negative onto your paper, trace around it with pencil, and then center your transfer upside down onto the outline. Apply pressure to your transfer by scribbling all around the mark that you've made. This will leave you with a faint silhouette of your negative. Then you can fill it in using the colors you desire. Remember that you want to print while the solar fast is still damp, so you do need to work quickly. Place your negative very carefully on top to make sure that it is aligned. Apply a heavy sheet of glass to make sure that it's firmly pressed against the paper. And then place it outside. It does always help to set a timer. Bring your print indoors. Remove the glass and the negative for the grand reveal. Then place it in a very hot bath with solar fast wash and agitate for 10 minutes to make sure that the development process has stopped. Then hang it outside to dry. I mentioned earlier using a heavy white paper that can withstand a soak for this process. I also tried it on watercolor paper. As you can see, the results are a little bit different. It's pretty streaky, you can see a lot of brush strokes. It's kind of cool in its own way, but it's a different result. Here's the same print on printmaking paper. As you can see, it's a lot cleaner, a more clear image. Go wild and experiment and share your results with us. It's a pretty fun and fast way to add some new art to your home.